friends, welcome back. My name is Addie of Well Loved Clothing, where we love everything vintage, thrift, and secondhand and self-expressive. So today you are actually in my mirror because I am still getting ready for the day. I am going thrifting today and I'm so excited about it because we're gonna start thrifting for some spring things since it's getting a little warmer outside. So I realized though that I wanna get there like right when it opens. And so I'm running a little tight on time. So I figured I would just bring you along while I'm getting ready and just kind of chat about what we're gonna thrift today. So with springtime coming, I of course love color. I love vests. I am looking for some more pants. I feel like I have, well, really shorts. I feel like I have a lot of pants. And so I just wanna find some like flowy shorts. I don't really like a super short inseam. I just still like to have coverage with my shorts. And I think that's why it's a little difficult sometimes for me to find shorts, but the best ones to find are vintage ones. So it's great to find them at the thrift store. And so I'm gonna try and find some shorts today. Also looking for just some like like tank tops and simple kind of tops. I feel like I love a long sleeve. I will always love a long sleeve, but maybe like a puffy sleeved short sleeve top would be something cute to find. You're also getting a little bit of a glimpse into my makeup routine, so here we are, don't judge me. But I will also be looking for some spring layers. I have noticed that I really want to do some like colorful button down kind of things. I feel like I have a lot of white button downs. I actually just did a closet clean out. That's what this whole situation is, which I'll be uploading that very soon. But I realized that I have a lot of white layering shirts, but I really wanna get some more like, I don't know, just maybe like purples and greens and whatnot so I can do kind of like the skirt crop top button down look. I just feel like that's sort of my spring aesthetic right now. I am of course always looking for flowy dresses too and I feel like I have a lot of sleeved dresses. Once again, love a long sleeve. And so I think I'm looking more for like some tank top dresses, maybe some things that'll be really cute to like put a t-shirt over or like layer under like a spaghetti strap dress. So I don't really have like a specific aesthetic that I'm going for. I'm just noticing some things that I am leaning towards and kind of leaning into those a little heavier for spring. It's also been like a week, maybe a week and a half since I've gone thrifting. So I'm really excited to go thrift today. So before I go, I have to do my deodorant here, but I've actually been wanting to share this deodorant with you guys because this is native deodorant. So I've actually been using native deodorant for the past six years, maybe. So I switched to aluminum free deodorant about eight years ago. I tried a whole bunch of different kinds for a couple of years just to find something that worked best for me. And once I found native, I fell even more in love with aluminum free deodorants. So native is aluminum free, paraben free, it's vegan and also cruelty free. So all those frees really add up to something so amazing amazing. They have really simple and effective ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. So my underarms feel smooth and covered and the smells are so amazing. So the scents that I got are the eucalyptus and mint. I actually have their shampoo and conditioner in this scent too. This is one of my favorite scent combos. It's just invigorating, but also really calming with that eucalyptus. And one of my favorite parts about native deodorants is you can read right on the back, eucalyptus globulus leaf oil. So you know that that is the exact ingredient that's in there. I also got the lilac and white tea scent. This is the scent that I use when I wanna smell a little girlier. Like if I'm going to a wedding or something, this is the one that I use. It's just very sweet and floral, so love this one. And then I wanted to try a new one, so I got blackberry and green tea, and this one, it might be my new favorite. I'm a green tea gal, as most of y'all probably know, but something about the blackberry just punches it to a new level. And they also sent me a fun little extra thing, which is from their candy shop collection. So this is the Sweet Cinnamon Hearts scent. And when I first got it, I was like, I don't know, because I'm not usually a sweet scent girl. But then after smelling it, it really just smells like childhood candy shop kind of feels. So I love that there's a little nostalgia, but also something for those girls who maybe love like the vanilla or creme brulee kind of scents this is the absolute scent for you. And there are so many other candy shop scents from this collection. So if you're gummy bear gal, they got you. If you are a taffy gal, they got you covered. So if you're looking for cleaner products that keep you clean and are aluminum free and just made with ingredients that you understand, I cannot recommend Native enough. So click the link below to shop their amazing inventory of good smelling things and use my code WELLLOVED for 20% off of your order. So let's finish getting dressed and head to the thrift store. We are at the first thrift store. It is the Salvation Army, the one that I usually go to in Snellville, Georgia, and we are looking for all kinds of spring things. So let's see what we can find.
Okay, I think this number could be pretty dang cute. I like the length of it, it's kind of more cropped. I love these little elastic pieces too that kind of feel like a little smock top. The texture is cool, the colors are fun. Kind of has like a bohemian feel, but the square neck is always what I love, so I'll try it. Of course, I am immediately drawn to these colors. They're so bold and vibrant. I love the combo of the pink, purple, red, and orange. It's just very interesting. It's definitely too big and it's not really a shape I prefer, but I am so drawn to this fabric. A little texture moment. I'm liking that this could be like a fun textural t-shirt instead of doing like a graphic tee thing. I don't know, we might try this on. The spring colors are definitely out at the thrift store right now. I really love this combo too. Feels very pastel, very Easter, and it's Ralph Lauren, which we love to see, but it is an extra large, so that is a bit big for me, and so I don't wanna take it from someone who it might fit better. And it's not quite the colors that I prefer, so I'm gonna leave it. Okay, we're getting somewhere with this button down, with kind of the button downs that I was thinking. I do want some bold colors, maybe some bold patterns, and the polka dots on this are just so fun. They kind of have like a hypnotic sort of thing going on. I'm not a huge fan of the shade of green and black together though, so I don't think I'll wear this, but it is really cute. We've moved over to a little dress section that's by the tops, and I found this adorable little red linen number. I really love this one. It just feels so vintage, and the buttons have this really cool kind of textured folded thing to them and it comes with a belt which is super rare to find at the thrift store also that vintage tag is so cute the little pleats at the waist are adorable and i think it could kind of be like a pinafore with those low armholes so we're definitely going to try this on this is so unexpectedly adorable i really just like the shape of it it's very simple but still has some fun details i will have to fix that little hem at the bottom but it's just frayed so a rolled hem would fix it pretty easily it doesn't have a brand tag in here so part of me thinks it's handmade maybe even like a tinkerbell costume because that's sort of just what it makes me think of but the color is so much fun the little tulip bottom is so cute and i think it would be really fun for layering like over a button down or something so maybe we'll try it Yes, more jumpsuits. I found this adorable jumpsuit. It's in this amazing kind of dusty lavender color, which is beautiful. It's got these cute pockets and this amazing little smock top and some tie sleeves. And I've been looking for some tank top jumpsuits because I have so many like cap sleeve and longer sleeve jumpsuits that I need a few more that I can layer and kind of wear through spring and summer. So I'm super excited that I found this one, especially in this gorgeous linen. So I'm really excited about it. We've gone through tops and a couple of dresses, so I'm going to finish going through dresses and then I think I'm going to move to pants and probably blazers, even though I don't really need more, but I also love blazers for spring. I always love finding these adorable little dresses. This one is just gorgeous with this deep blue and this fun kind of windmill sort of pattern. I don't even know, but it's really cute with these little button front pockets and that little collar and the shape of it with the big shoulder pad sleeve is just really cute with that flowy skirt. Also love an elastic waist and a little button front top. These are great for layering under sweaters too. The tag says size 10, which vintage is probably size eight. So I don't think it'll fit, but we'll see. Walking through the little intimate section, they have so many cute little house dresses but I found this adorable green gingham one and it has this amazing floral embroidery on the top it also has the little zipper down the front and I think actually the zipper might go all the way down the front which might be fun to make like a open house coat sort of thing over like a tank top jeans sort of outfit just to add some fun quirkiness to it so we'll see okay I just found some amazing dresses that I'm super excited about I found a ton of stuff um and a lot of springy things too, which I'm really excited for because a lot of times I have a hard time finding stuff, but I'll show you a couple of the dresses that I'm really excited about. Look how sweet this one is. I love the little elastic detail here. It's kind of like smocking ruching sort of feels, but just with elastic. So I don't know what brand, it's some random boutique brand, but it is a long flowy kind of dress. So that'll be fun for layering. And I really love the kind of soft prairie feel. I also found this amazing dress. This is from a brand called The Open, and I feel like I've seen some stuff from them before, but it's just this really beautiful shape. I don't know if I love the like black and white feel of it, but I might even dye it and maybe do it. I don't even know what color, but I like the little design, and there's some cute little details on the sleeve and on the hem. So very cute baby doll style dress. I love those for just like tossing on sneakers or sandals. Great dresses for that. I also found this amazing little vintage dress. You can see some of the detailing here, how it'll fit so beautifully and just hug 
every curve, but it's long and has long sleeves, but the pattern is just really fun and different. So I usually love these dresses on, but we'll see. Okay, stop everything. This is a vintage jumpsuit and it looks very disco era 70s. It's this amazing kind of thicker knit tan with these amazing buttons, these amazing pockets, and look at the cute little tag. I love this. But the most interesting part is the little back. I've never seen where it zips up both sides and then the back waistband is attached by like putting the belt on the front. So very interesting little details and I'm so excited to try this on. I've moved on to some bottoms and I found these really cute little yellow tie waist linen pants. I love the elastic on them, but I think the waist is gonna be a little too short for me, so I don't think I'm gonna try them. Oh my gosh, these little shorts are so cute. They feel kind of like taxi cab with the checkered black and yellow. And it's that adorable vintage shape I was talking about earlier with the high waist and the long inseam, but these are super tiny, so I don't think they'll fit. Love the color of this skirt. Love how silky and lightweight it is. I also really like this like faint cheetah print look. It looks a lot more bold on the camera, but it's kind of subtle texture. It does have this like funky ruching detail on the front though, so not gonna pick it up. walk through the accessory section and I just found these amazing pink little faux alligator boots. The stiletto is insane on these, but I'm gonna try them on because how can I possibly resist a cute little pink pair of boots like this? The texture, so good, let's try them on. Like I suspected, the heel is just a bit too high for me. It's not really the heel, it's more like the pitch of the arch on the foot. It's just not really comfortable, but I really love them. I think they're so much fun, especially peeking out of the bottom of dress like they are now. Yeah, these are a very hard thing to say no to. We've moved on to some jackets, blazers, and vests. I didn't really see any jackets I liked, but I really like this little moody floral vest. The fabric of it has this nice little sheen to it. It feels very vintage, but I'm not sure if it's too like dark and moody for me. I don't usually go for many things that are this deep of coloring, but it might be a fun thing to toss onto some brighter outfits to give it some depth, so we'll see. This vest is definitely more my speed. I love this vibrant embroidered floral on the front. It's really intricate embroidery, which is just beautiful, especially coupled with this kind of sack clothy linen canvas cornflower blue kind of color and fabric. It's just a fun juxtaposition and makes the embroidery really pop on here. I love the little buttons on the front. It has this cute little like pointed arch detail on the front too. So this might be a fun one to style. Okay, this vest is giving me so many Ghani vibes in a more vibrant kind of fun way. I love the colors. I love the plain back. I think this could be really fun to style and do some kind of like punk prairie twist. Okay, my car is so full, so we are going to go try things on. Okay, this is so very cute. I love it together. I love the bright colors of the skirt with the brown, especially since there's just some brown details in the skirt but I think I'm gonna get both of these, which is rare for the first thing I try on, but I was really excited about these pieces. I know that this is a little less springy, but I do feel like on my cooler days of spring, like today's up to, I think, 62, and so I could just wear this and even have this open to be a little cooler if it's gonna get warm in the afternoon, but I also like to put like a little blouse under here, have maybe another pattern to mix with this, but I've been looking for a little tie side vest like this. I have one that snaps up the side and I've been looking to replace it because it's kind of long and just not really my style, and I think this is perfect for it, especially for like a little utility touch. It would also be cute with just some colored pants, so love both of these. The elastic waist is amazing on this skirt too, and I love it. Okay, love both of these too. I have been looking for a blouse with a giant collar like this. I feel like I have found a couple with like the little round Peter Pan ones, but I've wanted one that goes out to my shoulders to do like blazers under it. I love little spaghetti strap dresses under these too and doing like a little bit of a prairie thing. So I might actually do that with a couple of the spaghetti strap dresses that I got 
that I'm looking at today, but I am definitely getting the shirt. It's so cute. It's got this eyelet thing too, which feels very spring to me. And then the skirt is, I think, just a little bit too sweet. I want it to be a little bolder, but I might get it for my store because I did have a dress that was similar to this with like the three-tone in my store and it sold very quickly, but I love it. It does have some little defects around the waistband where the fabric is just really light, but it's such a pretty little vintage skirt. So I might even put on a whole new waistband and fix some of those issues, but so cute. Okay, so I just left this top on because I want to try it with a sweater vest in a second, but I did just toss on this little skirt. It is some just random modern brand, but it's really stretchy and really breathable with that sheer layer, and I love the little bandana kind of feel. It's also different from a lot of things that I have because I usually go for a flowier silhouette, but I think this might be fun with like a little crop top and maybe like a purple or orange button down over it. That's sort of what I'm leaning into for spring because it's just flowy and easy, but I really love this and it's very cute. I also kind of like it with this little collared vibe. It kind of mishmashes some styles together and it's just really cute. Okay, I love this sweater vest. I think it's so much fun. I love the little words and all the different details and stuff. And actually when I was in Paris, my sister and I went to the Ghani store just to look around because I love Ghani. And they have a sweater vest that kind of has like a similar vibe. It is more black and white than I want it, but I think the green and pink kind of balance that out. So I would wear it with more colors, but I love doing some funky pieces like this with this big collar over the top. and. I kind of like it with the skirt since it plays with that black and white and the colors, but I might even do like, I don't really know. It's just kind of fun to think of styling. Even jeans with this would be really cute. Add some prairie touches to some funky things, maybe some pink shoes. That'd be fun. So adorable. Okay. I'm kind of loving this as a combo. I think the textures are really fun together. So this is that little like sweater knit tee. And I really didn't think I was going to like it because a lot of times these are thick and lay kind of funny. So. They look a little frumpy on me sometimes, but this one's actually pretty cute, especially if you just like tucked it into a little, I don't know, pair of colorful pants. Even with this orange and the muted color are really pretty together, but I do think this kind of neutral washes me out a little bit and I do like more colorful basics. So I'm not sure, but it's a really fun texture. These pants are much too big. I have them all kinds of tucked and pinned and whatnot up here, but they're kind of like sparkly a little bit. So I really like them as like a fun kind of flowy, maybe beach pant just to keep it loose and easy, like with little crop top, but I do think they're too big. So sad. Okay. This is actually kind of cute. I didn't think that I would really like it. I'm not much of one for like the umpier waist shirt with the peplum, but something about the length I think is really cute. And all of this is so much fun that I could layer all kinds of stuff over it and under it. So I don't know. I might even crop this even shorter to have like a really cute little peplum top thing, more like a ruffle than a peplum, but I kind of like it. I also kind of like it with the orange and I have some other orange trousers that I might pair with it too, but I just don't know if it's too like preppy bohemian for me and not quite like where I'm headed. So very cute though. Okay. I am loving this. It is a free people tank top. And I actually remember wanting this tank top like maybe early high school, late middle school kind of. I can't exactly remember when it came out, but it's just like this really great lightweight shirt. I love a lot of coverage, but kind of sheer. So this is really fun having this kind of tail and just little details and whatnot. Also love a low back. So this would be a really great piece even going into summer, maybe even as like a bathing suit cover up since it's like kind of dress length, but also just with the orange pants and ponytail, maybe like, I don't know, some kind of clips or something. You can make it a little fun and different. So cute. Okay. This is so cute. Very reminiscent of a set, but these are the little shorts that I found separate that I think could be part of a set. I don't know, but I would love a little like pleated button down to go with them. I've been loving that look recently, but I did just pair it with this little top. This is actually Urban Outfitters, but it is this lime green with this really cute kind of plaid throughout and then the little buttons. And I really like the length of it hitting right at the pant and it being a short sleeve, but so kind of loose and the collar, it just feels very cute. And I really love these together. I would probably even do my orange blazer that I have today over the top of this for like a cooler spring day, maybe like some socks and sneakers kind of thing with it too, to make it a little more urban, but I really, really love both of these pieces. And these I thought were going to be too short. They're not too short or like too flowy that they will become too short, but I really like them. Super comfy and cute. Okay. So we threw the shirt over and I do like this more, but I think it's because you can't tell 
about the neckline. I think this is definitely a no, but I'm trying to decide on the shirt because I do love this kind of shirt more than like the little crop one because I can wear this under things, over things really easily and on its own. It is a little heavier weight. It's like a kind of really thin lightweight corduroy so it has some great texture to it and I love the double pocket almost utility feel but it's not exactly the right color this is a little more minty so I think you could still wear them together and it looked like a cute little set but we'll see I might still get this because I'm looking for a bunch of colorful button downs and this is a great color that goes really well with my wardrobe so we'll see okay this is like saved by the bell late 80s early 90s magic I love this little cardigan. It's really lightweight too, so it would be a great sweater for the spring, especially since it's so crazy and fun. It also looks really great with these colors and these colors. I kind of love the tank top with this. Feels kind of like a set with the pinks right here, but still not a big fan of the tank top. But I did start with it buttoned up because I love wearing my sweaters this way. And I'll often do like the shoelace or elastic trick and tuck it up so it can go over a dress too. So this has great pattern mixing potential. It does have three little buttons on the front. So very cute. I'm gonna show it to you unbuttoned. The only thing is that the sleeve is a little funky, but I think that's what adds to the kind of 80s feel. So let's see it unbuttoned. So this is it unbuttoned and I still just love it. I think it's so fun and funky. The sleeve length is really cute and feels very springy i could see it over a slip dress or i don't know maybe even like tied with a little pair of jeans or something or with these shorts very cute so i really like it we'll see if i can figure out the sleep like thing <laughs> shoulder pads are popping these are so big and i really just love the patterns and colors though this feels like a golf outing dress for some reason it is still a little bit big on me and so i don't think i'm gonna get it because i never wear these when they're a little big because they just blouse too much and look a little too oversized but when i do find them in my size i wear them all the time so i might end up getting this one for my store because it's in such good condition but i do wish that it had the belt i don't know i'm so torn because it's so pretty and so cute and the pattern's adorable okay this is unreal i cannot believe this vintage jumpsuit it is so cute it feels so disco and fun but really posh like i just love it and it fits really well too there are a couple of little like seam things happening down here so i would just have to sew that up and you can totally see my high-waisted undie line today but i love this it's just so chic and i can even tighten this a little bit more if i want it to be a little tighter around the waist but i love the gold buttons i love all of the little details adorable i love this jumpsuit Okay, I feel like this could be really cute, but the fabric's kind of cheap and so it's really clingy. So it's not really laying right. And then something about the distance between the elastic here is just not scrunching in like a cute way. Maybe the top is also tighter than the elastic. I'm not really sure, but it could be cute, but I don't think it's quite like doing it for me. But I do love just the little details up here. Maybe even like cropping it, making it into a little shirt. Maybe cropping it on that one too. I don't know. There's just some options here, but this is not it. Okay, this is so cute. I really love the shape of it, or really lack thereof of the shape of it, because this is just what I want to wear in the spring, something that doesn't really like touch me. I get really hot during the spring and summer, and so these kind of floaty pieces are just amazing. I just love this. I think I'm probably going to thrift flip some fabric that I have into something similar as this, and now I'm going to remember to do a little puff sleeve because it's so cute with that little puff. The only thing is I'm not a big fan of black and white, even though this is kind of a creamy tan and kind of a charcoal black i don't know it's just like not my favorite combo so i'm thinking i might actually dye it but then i'm wondering what color looks good with black for me and i just don't completely know but it's just so good and the little details on the sleeves with that piping is just really cute so we'll see what i end up doing here but i love so many things about it It is too big and giving me kind of like simple target vibes, which there's nothing wrong with, but I just am not feeling that today. <laughs> oh, I love this. The colors are so fun. The pattern is absolutely insane. I think this could be so much fun. There is something missing. Maybe it's just like a belt or a collar or something, but I do have several dresses that are like this. I think this is handmade. I'm not completely sure from when, maybe like 
70s because it's that same kind of polyester and this neckline is very indicative of that time but it's really flattering with these little details and seam details so I might see what I can do with it because I think it's so much fun but I also don't know how often I would wear it because it's just one of those like what season do you wear this in kind of dress but I do love it this is just a really easy comfy dress it has little pockets it's kind of like a jersey t-shirt material and I just really like the shape of it the only thing is the color I do think it's a really pretty green but I just don't really ever reach for this color so I think I would probably do like the red color remover stuff and then dye it probably an orange because that's the color I wear all the time and now I'm thinking of a couple of other dresses that I could dye that kind of look like this but they're not this flowy and comfy so I think I might get this one because it's just like a big comfy dress and a lot of opportunities for pairing things underneath it too so we'll see I love this style of dress. I think they're just so feminine and beautiful and just the belt makes it feel so vintage and cute. So it is a really great vintage linen dress. The color is so much fun. It is just like maybe one size too big. So it's blousing just a little more here than I would want it to. But I kind of like the idea of putting like a frilly blouse underneath it or a patterned blouse and making it kind of like a pinafore dress. But I can't really wear it without the belt, but with the belt, it's very cute. And I got rid of a dress that was similar a couple of years ago because I just worn the heck out of it and it fit really well. And so I think I'm wanting this to fit like that. And it just doesn't, but the pleats are cute. Everything about it is really cute. So I might get it for my store. And I love a button front dress because then, oh wait, I could unbutton this and wear it over something like a vest. So that would play with the sort of vest spring thing that I've wanted to do. So cute, we'll see. I love this. This is so perfect and exactly what I want to wear during the spring. The smocking is just stretchy and comfy and then the pants are so loose and just really cute in this amazing like kind of deep lavender color. So I love the little bows up here. I could see it layered or just like this with just some sneakers to run to the store. Maybe even like my floral denim jacket over the top of it. So I really like the pockets and the little cropped length is just really cute to add just some different kind of visuals to it. Feels very like yoga girl bohemian. So I really love this. I think we are done with all of our things, trying them on. So I'm going to get dressed, figure out what I'm going to get and check it out. So we just got done at this thrift store. It was like maybe two hours in the Salvation Army, two and a half maybe. And I found a big old bag of tons of really colorful springy goodies. I found some shorts and a couple sweater vests and dresses and whatnot. So I'm super excited about it. I do have some thrift flips I'll probably do with some of them. But for today, we are done because I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go home and eat some lunch. But thank you so much for joining me and for thrifting with me today for some amazing spring pieces. Don't forget to use my code WELLLOVED for 20% off of your native order and I'll see you next week. You are well loved. Bye.